Now we turn to Europe, which was recently declared the new epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. The worst hit country has been Italy, where COVID-19 deaths have outstripped those in China. Speaking to reporter Stephanie Yang, a Taiwanese living in the Tuscany region, shares what life is like at the heart of Europe's outbreak. Italy's hospitals are overwhelmed with COVID-19 patients. Many of them are health workers who got infected while saving lives. Since March 9th, Italy has been under lockdown with all non-essential businesses closed. Public congregation is also prohibited in an effort to reduce transmission risk. Hello everyone back in Taiwan. <clears throat> I'm currently living in the city of Siena in the Tuscany region. Andrew Lin, a Taiwanese living in the city of Siena, describes what his life is like under lockdown. It is day 17 of the nationwide lockdown here in Italy. All businesses are closed, only the essentials. You cannot go outside besides going to the, get the essentials like groceries or to the hospital or government services. The only thing I've been doing really is cooking a lot. Also, I've been doing a lot of university work online. It's, I think we're gonna see a major shift in how people um, go to school and work. While the pandemic has greatly impacted the way Italians live their daily lives and how they socialize, Italians are finding ways to stay positive during the lockdown. People in Italy are singing from their balconies in an effort to boost morale. Uh, people in Italy have been keeping in good spirits. Uh, you know, just right outside my window around 9 p.m. every night, you can hear people singing and playing music to try to lift up their spirits and you know it's a way to socialize. I think this particular time is really tough for the Italian people because they're really social. Um, they have a good sense of community. They have a very family-oriented society. With the coronavirus spreading fast, many countries in Europe have drastically curbed public life in an effort to control the transmission. The Spanish government declared a state of emergency on March 14th and shut down schools and non-essential services. France issued a national lockdown on March 17th, banning all public gatherings and asking residents to stay home unless they need to go out for essential tasks. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Zhang Tingxiang in Taipei.